businesses in midtown Manhattan were left picking up the pieces Tuesday after a night that saw looting across New York City. The late night vandalism came after a day of peaceful citywide protests calling for an end to racial inequality and despite an 11 p.m. curfew. Apparel stores like Foot Locker, jewelry retailers, and New York mainstay Macy's Herald Square were all targets of theft, leaving broken glass windows and graffiti behind. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio and the state's governor Andrew Cuomo are now at odds over what to do next. De Blasio on Tuesday spoke against the use of the National Guard in his city and instead called for local community leaders to step up. The National Guard should not be brought here. We have 36,000 police officers. We're going to beat it back by asking authentic leaders of communities to step forward, take charge. Community leaders, civic leaders, clergy, elected officials, cure violence, all the people who actually represent communities. Meanwhile, Cuomo criticized the mayor and the NYPD for not doing enough. The NYPD and the mayor did not do their job last night. Look at the videos. It was a disgrace. I believe the mayor underestimates the scope of the problem. I think he under underestimates the duration of the problem. Uh, and I don't think they've used enough police to address the situation. New York City was already reeling as the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic in the U.S. and now is one of many cities convulsed by protests and demonstrations that at times have turned violent over the killing of George Floyd. Former New York resident and current U.S. President Donald Trump added his two cents to the situation in New York City. Tweeting Tuesday, New York was lost to the looters, thugs, radical left, and all other forms of lowlife and scum. The governor refuses to accept my offer of a dominating National Guard. New York City's curfew has been moved up Tuesday night to 8 p.m., three hours earlier than the night prior.